everyone and welcome back to Articore C. Today I'm going to show you a unique little model. It's a model helicopter, of course. This is the Hisky 100 from Throttle Store. Uh, as you all know, I just fly the big ones. So for me to try in this one, this is fly by loss, of course. It's quite a challenge. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about my flying. I'm going to talk about this beautiful little bird. Okay, this comes as an RTF, you get it, of course, at throttlestore.com and RTF, that means you have a radio. The radio is actually very good because it's heavy and it has a good grip on it. And also, it has great gimbals. It works great, you have the idle up button, there's only two ways normal mode and idle up and you have the throttle hold when you're going to do something with your helicopter when power is on of course uh, helicopter and transmitter two batteries these are uh, 3.7 volts 300 milliamp 30c batteries I guess we can go up a bit on the milliamp no problem at all but this works great. You also have a bag with spare blades, link and screws and tail propeller, uh, tail rotor of course and a little screwdriver to come and also an allen key for fixing if you break something. The ones on the market today you have Volcara has their helicopter and E-Flight has their helicopter, the MCPX. But considering the price and what you're getting out of these small models, because they have a tendency to break very fast. So this is the economical choice, I will guess. Cheap, there are a lot of parts for it. Uh, it comes with a brushed uh, motor. We don't like brushed motors, but they are releasing now brushless motors. So, like the other versions from Volcara, blah blah blah, on the internet, you have the opportunity to change the motor. And perhaps we will do that, but first I need to learn how to fly these small helicopters because they are pretty, pretty hard to fly when you're used to flying six and seven hundred size helicopters because they are very agile. A little tip from me is that when you're binding up the helicopter with your transmitter, of course you turn on the transmitter first, then you put the battery in your helicopter and the connectors to it. Do not touch the helicopter when you are binding because the fly ballast gyro depends on being all steady when it's binding. If I'm holding the helicopter like this or it is sort of on the ground, that is like this, the helicopter will take off like this. In its memory it needs to be flat out, okay? So we are, <laughs> what we are going to do, we are going to put the battery in. I'm not going to do any flip and flop, I'm just going to start it up, fly it one or two seconds in front of the camera and then land it back here at this bench and not a word said about my flying, okay? <laughs> okay, first of all... Now we have an alarm. That means your throttle stick is way up. So, we put the throttle stick down. Genius! Okay, and then we are going to power up the helicopter. I put the battery in. I put the battery connector to the ESC, put the battery down on the table, like that. You will do some movements on the swash plate and after that you're good to go. So let's try to fly it. Ooh. 
Woo. <laughs> okay. There is another solution for you guys that have that has a JR radio or a Futaba radio. You can buy sort of this transmission link. This is a link system that you connect to your radio and of course if you have a computer radio you can set it up with your radio. In the manual it says how much expo you should have and how much dual rate and so on and that is for all the helicopters. It's very unique. I tried it on my DX8 and I'm sorry to say the DX8, uh, DX8 didn't have the right connection uh, as the JR because you need sort of using power from the charging outlet to your uh, uh, on your radio. Anyway, you can go into throttlestore.com and check it out. You can buy the RTF version as this one, helicopter and radio. It flies super great, but with time I have been sort of, you know, I'm flying the bigger stuff, so for me it's too agile and with this radio I can't uh, sort of adjust the sensibi uh, sensibility on the helicopter so I like flying it outside outside I do flips with it and I fly it as I fly my other helicopters but for inside flying I'm a newbie I do not fly too much inside my living room so but anyway it hoovers great it's very stable it's a great helicopter and it's an affordable helicopter, a lot of parts, cheap parts. So, this was a review for today. Quite easy. The He Sky Flyballess Micro Helicopter, the He Sky 100. Check it out, throttlestore.com. Beautiful. <laughs>